Sturdy Valley is absolutely filled with so many great mechanics and this can result in some tough decisions. But here are some things that are so unbalanced that you might almost never use them. Alrighty, let's get started. There are tons of buildings in Stardew Valley. Most of them are great like barns, sheds and obelisks. But not all buildings are that great like the mill for example. The mill is one of those buildings that has only one use. It just kinda looks nice on your farm. Other than that, it doesn't really have any other uses. Sure, it could turn wheat into flour, beets into sugar and unmilled rice into regular rice. But all of those sell for basically nothing. Nothing. And in some cases, processing your crops into these processed goods will result in a lower selling price. If you place gold quality beets in the mill, you will actually lose money. So yeah, build a mill if you want a good looking farm. Otherwise, I would advise against investing in this building. Swords are great weapons. They have amazing attack speed, great damage, and impressive range. Hammers are also great weapons because you you can abuse this special attack to basically annihilate anything in your path. Then you get daggers. Guys, I really did try and give daggers a fair chance, but they just fall short when compared to the other weapon types. Yes, daggers have the fastest attack speed in the game and they usually have the highest crit ratio and crit damage multiplier. However, their base damage is critically low and their reach is almost non-existent. When when you run around with a dagger, you will often take more damage than you will deal because it is so easy for enemies to just hit you before you hit them. Maybe I am just using daggers wrong. Daggers are just not for me, but let me know what you think about daggers in the comments below. Burglar Ring, Slime Charmer Ring, Lucky Ring. All of these rings are basically game changing. Then you get Iridium Bands, Napole Rings, and even Hot Java Rings. These are not game changing, but they are really, really good. Then at the bottom of the tier list, we got the Topaz Ring. You might have never heard of the Topaz Ring, and that is because this ring literally does nothing. The Topaz Ring will give you a 10% precision bonus. But what is precision, you might ask? Precision doesn't exist. That's right, the precision mechanic was never adapted in the game, but the topaz ring was left in without the precision stat, making the topaz ring the most useless item in the game. Wearing a topaz ring is the same as wearing no rings at all. The barn is the best building in the game, and that is because it houses the best animals in the game, the pig. These guys are great because they can find truffles on your farm, and truffles sell for a ton of gold. With the forager and the botanist profession, each piece of truffle will sell for 1250 gold. That is a lot of gold just for picking up a mushroom on the floor every single day. But you can increase the value of your truffles with an oil maker. The oil maker can turn truffles into truffle oil. Truffle oil will sell for 1065 gold and 1490 gold with the artisan profession. So yeah, oil makers can either lose you money or gain you a tiny bit more. You could slightly increase the price of truffles, but the convenience of just selling them outweighs the incredibly tiny increase in profits. Do you know what is incredibly rare in Stardew Valley? Getting a treasure chest from fishing. Do you want a treasure chest from fishing? Maybe if you hit subscribe right now and go fish in front of the mines, you might just get one. I don't know, just give it a try. Unfortunately, the same is true for the loom. The loom will allow you to turn wool into cloth. The problem with this is that getting cloth is already incredibly easy. Just defeat some mummies in the skull cavern and you will easily get all of the cloth you need for crafting clothing. If you are looking to make money with cloth, then I have some bad news for you. Once you have befriended your sheep or rabbits to a high level, they will start to produce iridium quality wool. If you turn iridium quality wool into cloth, you will actually lose money. Selling your medium quality wool will literally make you more money and you won't need to wait for it to process in the loom. 
We all know that the artisan profession is just the best farming profession. But what if we experiment a little with the others? Like the coop master profession will make your coop eggs and ostrich eggs incubate 50% faster. So how I see it is, the only time we could ever use this profession is if we wanted to rapidly incubate chickens and sell them. So I tried it. I placed down 5 coops all filled up with chickens and then I realized something. Max friendship chickens can sell for 1040 gold. Yeah, you will have to wait about 3 days for them to incubate and then you will need to feed them and then pet them every day until they are fully maxed out in friendship and then you can sell them for 1000 gold each. I don't know about that one, in the same amount of time, you could have made that amount of money just turning the eggs into mayonnaise. Plus, you would have the artisan profession that makes everything sell for more. The coop master profession is just not it. There are a bunch of great professions in Stardew Valley. The tapper profession is just not one of them. The tapper profession will increase the sell price of syrups and resins from trees by 25%. So maple syrup will sell for 50 more gold, oak resin will sell for 37 more gold, and pine tar will sell for 25 more gold. Compare that to the botanist profession and the tapper profession starts to really really look bad. Especially since it takes multiple days to actually harvest these syrups from trees using tappers. Do the right thing, pick any other profession. Fishing is a great source of money in Stardew Valley and fishing with bait will seriously help you catch more fish and thus make more money. You can buy bait from Willy for 5 gold each or you can craft a worm bin for 25 hardwood, 1 gold bar, 1 iron bar and 50 fiber. These things will produce between 2 to 5 pieces of bait every single day. Doesn't that sound great? I guess you could place these worm bins in your favorite fishing spots around the world just in case you run out of bait but it is just much easier to buy a full stack of bait from willy plus at the later stages of the game you will probably want to use wild bait or even magic bait because these have some great benefits over regular bait this might be an unpopular opinion but here it is i never do the help wanted quests before you dislike this video, hear me out. In my opinion, the only reason to complete the help wanted quests is to complete all of the achievements in the game. Besides for that, you will only get a tiny bit of gold per quest. The problem with these quests is that it is completely random, so most of the time, you won't even be able to complete the quest. For example, it might be the last day of spring, and then you get a quest asking for a cauliflower. If you don't have one in a chest, you will be unable to complete this quest. I got frustrated with the system pretty quickly and decided never to use it again. And those are some of the mechanics and professions in Stardew Valley that are just not the best. But do you agree with me? Please let me know in the comments below. But for now, I will see you in the next video.